everyone. Welcome to Sergey Macworld. So this is a math support for students. So panibagong topic na naman natin discuss ngayong araw na to. Uh, at ang topic na to ay tungkol sa relationship of chords or relationship of tangent segments. So dalawa, isang chord tapos isang tangent segment. Also, meron din tayo dito ang uh, secant. So before we proceed in our discussion, huwag kalimutan na mag-subscribe sa aking channel para updated ka sa mga lessons na aking ina-upload. So let's start. First, we have here the, the intersecting chords theorem. So in the intersecting chord theorem, if two chords intersect in a circle, so sa loob ng circle siya mag intersect then the product of the measure of the segment of one chord equals to the product of the measure of the segment of the other chord. So, in diagram, ito siya. So, meta, magkakaroon tayo dito ng A times B is equal to C times T. So, in, in short, magkakaroon tayo dito. Eh, this is the, uh, for this, ito yung ating intersecting uh, line. Nag-intersect sa loob ng uh, circle. So, ito yung first chord, tapos ito yung second chord. Now, yung first chord natin, or sabihin na natin, ito yung uh, A to B. Ito yung segment niya, yung isa. Tapos, ito yung uh, from this point up to this point, this is the letter B. Tapos, from this point up to this point, this is the letter C or the uh, segment C. Tapos, this is the from this point up to this point, this is the letter D. So, meron tayong apat na uh, letters dito or apat na segment divided segment. So, in this case, ito, A times B, kung alin yung kaharap niya, doon siya, uh, ita times, tapos C times D. So, is equal. So, in example, ganito siya. So, we have here the, uh, this is the figure. So, we have A, D, B, C, and T as the point. Tapos, meron tayong chord dito. Chord A, B, tapos chord C, D. Yan yung uh, another chord. Tapos nag-intersect sila dito sa point P. So, inside the circle. So, if our AP is 2, tapos ang DP natin is 4, then the CP is equal to 6, hanapin natin ngayon ang BP. So, itong part na to. So, so yun na mawala. So, using the formula, kakaroon tayo ng AP. So, AP times BP eto siya eto yung ang kaharap nito ay eto so is equal to dp ito times the cp so yung ap natin may value siya na 2 the substitute lang then yung dp ang hinahanap natin is equal to yung dp is 4 times cp is equal to 6 then multiply so 2 times bp is 2 bp pinagsama lang to is equal to 4 times 6 is equal to 24 then, after that is we have to divide both sides by 2. So, para makancel yung 2 dito, so we have to divide the given by 2. So, kakaroon tayo ng BP is equal to 24 divided by 2. The answer will be 12. Next given is we have the same figure. Tapos, we have here the, the problem. So, meron tayo dito if DC, DC is equal to 11. So, DC, so from here up to here or chord. CD or chord DC is equal to 11. Tapos yung AP natin is equal to 3. Then BP is equal to 8. So, ang hinahanap natin is yung <coughs> DP and the CP. So, from here, magkakaroon tayo ng this is the segment CD. So, in this case, magkakaroon tayo na ano, this is the CP and D and yung sukat niya is 11. Now, in solution, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, let x as the value of your dp, which is the shorter leg. Then, we have to let also uh, 11 minus x as the value of the cp as the longer leg. Kasi, this is 11. So, kailangan kasi natin hatiin siya. So, uh, in this case, kung ito ay 11, so, kung ano yung value ng x dito, minus lang natin doon sa 11. Kaya, magkakaroon tayo ng value ng cp. So, Continuous solution, magkakaroon tayo dito ng uh, AP is equal to BP is equal to DP times CP as the formula. The same formula. Then, 
Yung AP natin is equal to 3. Then BP is equal to 8. So, 3 times 8. So, ito siya magharap. Yung 3 and 8 is equal to yung magharap. Kailangan natin dito at saka yung dito. Since 11 to, so we have to let this as X and this will be 11 minus X. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng DP is equal to X times your CP is 11 minus X. Now, 3 times 8 is equal to 24. Then, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, x times 11 is equal, is equal to 11x. Then, uh, x times x is equal to x times negative x is equal to negative x squared. So, to transpose lang natin itong 24, uh, itong nasa uh, right side papunta dito sa kaliwa. Kasi since our uh, x squared is negative, kailangan natin siya maging positive para mas madali ang solution. So, transpose natin ito dito sa kaliwa. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng from negative magiging positive kaya naging x squared to so from positive magiging negative since ito ay positive naman hindi naman siya inilipat kaya siya ay positive 24 since nawala na yung mga numbers dito inilipat natin dito sa kaliwa this will be equal to 0 then using the factoring method magkakaroon tayo dito na so this is under the general trinomial so, we have x squared minus 11x plus 24. So, kukuha tayo ng factor of 24 na pag in natin, ang sagot is uh, negative 11. So, meron tayong negative 8 times negative 3 is positive 24. Negative 8 plus negative 3, the answer will be negative 11. So, ang factor ng x squared natin is x and x. Then, after this is uh, gamit tayo ng zero property. So, in the zero property, equate natin yung ating given or yung factor natin sa zero uh, separately. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x minus 8 is equal to zero and x minus 3 is equal to zero. Transform or trans trans transpose yung negative 8 to the right side, yung negative 3 to the right side. Magkakaroon tayo ng value of x is equal to positive 8 and the value of the other x is equal to positive 3. So therefore, your DP, since ang sabi dito, DP is the shorter segment. So therefore, mas mali yung 3 kaysa 8. So therefore, yung 3 is the, uh, the measure of your DP and the CP is equal to 8, which is the bigger uh, or the longer segment. Now, pag inad natin, we have here 3 plus 8, this will be 11. Now, paano na naman natin i-check kung tama yung sagot natin? Sabi dito sa formula, AP times BP is equal to DP times CP. So, therefore, kung ano yung value ng ating left side, dapat equal siya sa value ng right side. So, in this case, meron tayong AP is 3. So, that, that is 3. Then, BP is uh, 8. Then, your DP, sabi dito, DP is equal to... DP is equal to 3. Then, after nyan, yung CP is equal to 8. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 3 times 8 is equal to 24. Pag multiply natin itong 3 times 8 is equal to 24 also. So, therefore, they are equal. Next is uh, the secant power theorem. So, if two segment, if two secant segment are drawn to a circle from an, from an external point, the product of the length of one segment or uh, one secant segment and its external part is equal to the product of the length of the other secant segment and its external part. So, in short, ganun siya. Meron tayong dalawa ditong secant. So, the secant segment natin is uh, ito. It, this is the first part. Tapos, ito yung second part. Now, these two secant ay nag-intersect dito sa labas, which is the point M. So, the formula na gagamitin natin dito, kasi kukunin natin itong, mga, uh, itong length dito, yung length dito, also length, and also length dito. So, we have here the MQ. So, sabi dito, MQ, sorry, before, in short, longer uh, measure times the shorter measure, which is the MP. So, longer leg times the shorter leg. So, MQ times MP is equal to MO times MN. So, kung mapansin nyo, dapat, kung nagsimula ka dito sa malaki, dapat sa pangalawa, yung equals, magsisimula ka din dapat sa malaki. Hindi pwede yung mag nagsimula ka dito sa malaki, tapos, uh, although, ano siya, multiplication, pero, 
okay din naman 'yon pero mas okay naman yun. mas okay na lang sundin yung ano uh, same uh, uh, same sequence then the other is <coughs> mq so mq times pq so kung ito naman yung nawawala we have here mq times pq is equal to mo times no so ang technique lang dito sa secant power theorem is kung alin yung may given dapat yun lang ang gagamitin example is this so this is the same figure from the previous tapos sabi dito if pq is 5 so pq is 5 mp is equal to 3 then mn is equal to 4 then find no so ang may given natin dito is the mn the mp and the pq wala tayong given ng no so therefore hindi natin gagamitin yung no although ito yung hinahanap so In this case, the solution natin is we have to use the MQ times MP. So, MQ times MP. Kasi ito yung may given. Is equal to MO. M2O. Times MN. So, in this case, hanapin muna natin si MO bago natin makuha si NO. Kasi si NO ay part lang ni MO. So, in this case, meron tayong MQ. M to Q is 8. So, bakit siya naging 8? Kasi 8 is 8 siya since MP plus MQ is equal to MQ. So, MP, pag inad natin ito, MP plus PQ is equal to MQ. So, agad siya. So, ito, MP, tapos i-add natin kay Q, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng 8. So, since 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Then, after this, I multiply natin. So, magkakaroon na 8 times 3 is equal to 24. So, MO times 4 since MN itong given natin dito, which is, which is equal to 4. Then, MO times 4 is equal to 4 MO. Then, divide both side by 4 para makuha natin yung MO. So, pag dinibay natin siya, 24 divided by 4, the MO is equal to 6. Now, from this, so since MN plus NO is equal to MO, so pag inad natin to MN plus NO, ang, ang kakalabasan lang niya is M2O. So, since meron tayong given dito na MN natin is 4 from the given, which is ito at saka ito, which is 4, then NO, and ang nakuha natin kanina is MO is equal to 6. So, therefore, i-transpose lang natin yung 4 dito. Nagkaroon tayo ng NO is equal to 6 minus 4. Then after this, 6 minus 4 is 2. So therefore, ang value ng ating NO is equal to 2. Or yung segment, yung length ng segment NO is equal to 2. Next is from the same figure. Ibang problem naman. So we have here NO. And if NO is equal to 3, Then, MN is equal to 5. Then, PQ is equal to 4. Then, hinahanap natin is yung MQ. Yung mahaba naman ang hinahanap. Then, solution. Yan. Ito pinapahanap sa atin. Yung mahaba. So, MQ. Solution. Meron tayong MO times MN is equal to MQ times PQ. So, since yun lang yung may given, kaya itong formula na ito ang gagamitin natin. All, ah, hindi natin pwede gamitin yung isa kasi kulang yung given. So, in this case, magkakaroon tayo ng MO is equal to 8. Bakit siya naging 8 again? MO, M2O. So, this is uh, from M, nadaan siya kay N, nadaan siya kay O. So, ang segment or so, ang segment na meron tayo dito is 3 and 5. So, that's why this is 8. Then, MN, which is 5. Is equal to MQ. So, MQ yung hinahanap natin times PQ. So, PQ natin is 4. The next is we have to multiply. Magkakaroon tayo ng 8. Uh, so, before multiplying, so ito yung explanation din. So, M and O. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 3. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. Kaya naging 8 to. Then, after nyan is we have 8 times 5 is equal to 40. Then, MQ times 4 is 4 MQ. Then, divide both sides by 4. So, 40 divided by 4. The answer will be MQ is equal to 10. So, this is 
from this up to here, this is 10. So, kung kukunin natin yung value ng MP, magkakaroon lang tayo ng 10 minus 4. Ito ay magiging 6. Now, how to check? Kung ang given natin, kung sila ay magiging, dapat sila ay magiging equal. So, meron tayong MO dito. MO natin is 8 times MN is equal to 5. So, 8 times 5 is 40. So, dapat ito ay magiging 40 din. So, since ang PQ natin is 4, tapos ang MQ natin is 10, so 10 times 4, this is also 40. Next is the tangent secant power theorem. So, if a tangent segment and a secant segment are drawn to a circle from an exterior point, then the square of the measure of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the secant segment and its external segment. So, in short, ito siya. Meron tayo dito, this is the tangent. So, tangent EA. And ito yung secant natin. Secant uh, ECD. So, they had nag-intersect sila sa labas. Yung tangent at saka yung secant natin. Nag-intersect siya dun sa point E. So, in this case, so, pagkakaroon tayo ng EA squared. So, EA squared is equal to EC. So, EC times ED. So, yung shorter times the longer. So, from E to D. So, example, we have here the uh, problem. Sabi dito, if CD is equal to 5, so CD is equal to 5, EA is equal to 6. So, yung sa labas. Then, find EC. So, kukunin natin yung EC. So, ang formula, first nat ang formula din natin is the same. We have here the EA squared is equal to EC times ED. Now, may kakaroon tayo dito ng left. So, kasi kulang yung given natin. Wala kasi tayo i-add kasi the formula is EC times ED. So, yung EC times ED. So, yung sum daw from E, from E going to C going to D. So, 5 plus hindi natin alam po ano to. That's why we have to let x is equal to ec. Then, magkakaroon tayo ng x plus 5 is equal to ed. So, if this is x, kung ito yung x, so magkakaroon tayo ng x plus 5. Kaya nagkaroon tayo x plus 5 is equal to ed. Kasi ang kailangan natin dito is the sum of the longer side. That's why magkakaroon tayo ng x plus 5 since yung ec natin is x. So, this will be E squared is equal to EC times ED. So, from the formula here. So, substitute. We have here the EA is equal to 6. That's why this is 6 squared. Is equal to EC. EC natin is X. This is X. Times yung ED natin is X plus 5. So, distributive property. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 6 squared is equal to 36. Then, distributive property, x times x is x squared. Then, x times 5 is equal to 5x. So, since this is positive na, ang lilipat natin is yung nandito. Lipat natin siya pa kanan. So, pag nilipat natin pa kanan dito, mawawala na dito ng given. So, which is equal to 0 na to. So, that's why magkakaroon tayo ng x squared plus 5x. So, from positive, inilipat siya, magiging negative is equal to 0. Then, using the factoring again, so, karan tayo ng general trinomial. <clears throat> Factor of 36, so, pag inad mo is positive 5. Factor of negative 36, rather. So, pag inad natin is positive 5. So, ang factor niya is neg positive 9 times negative 4 is equal to negative 36. Tapos, 9 times 4 is equal to negative 36. Tapos, pag inad natin siya, 9 plus negative 4, the answer will be positive 5. Then, applying the zero property, so, magkakaroon tayo ng x plus 9 is equal to 0. Then, the other is x minus 4 is equal to 0. Then, transpose dito, it transpose natin dito. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x is equal to negative 9. So, from positive, transpose, magiging negative. Tapos, negative, pag transpose, magiging positive. So, since the given natin is since negative 9 cannot be, can't be length of a segment kasi wala naman tayong length na negative eh. It's always positive. That's why we have to use the 4. Since yung 4 natin or yung x natin na nilet kanina is let x is equal to ec. So, therefore, 
ang EC natin is equal to 4. Then, yung ED natin, yung total length, so from E to D, add lang natin siya kay 5, so this is 4, 4 plus 5, that's why this will be 9. The next is, uh, we have the same figure, so different problem. So, sabi dito, if CD is equal to 12, then yung EC is equal to 4, then find EA. So, ito naman yung ating hinahanap. So, the same formula. Magkakaroon tayo dito ng solution is EA squared is equal to EC times ED. So, in this case, so yung EA ano mawala. Given natin is EC. So, EC is equal to 4 times ED, which is 16. Bakit siya naging 16? Kasi from here up to here, ladaan na yung 4, tapos yung 12. So, 4 plus 12 is equal to 16. So, 4 times 16 is equal to 64. Then, after that, else you have to get the square root of both sides. So, take the square root of both sides. So, magkakaroon tayo ng square root of EA squared, the square root of 64. Kasi, kukunin lang natin yung isa. So therefore, yung EA mo is equal to the square root of 64 is equal to positive 8. Now, how to check kung sila, dapat sila daw ay equal? So kung ang EA natin ay 8, so 8 times 8, this will be 64. So 4 times 16 is 64. Tapos EA natin is 8, so therefore this is 8 squared is also 64. So 64 is equal to 64. So... Yun lang ang ating topic. So, that is the uh, relationship of chords, tangents, uh, tangent segments. So, I hopefully may natutunan kayo sa ating lesson.